my attention, man. I'm like, I'm engaged. Cause it, it's not so easy. So you have to be like really paying attention. What my win percentage? I don't know. It don't show it. I don't know how to go to it, but I know my record is, I probably lost 40 games or 45 games. Probably won 70. This better than 24, for sure. Most definitely, though. No. <laughs> yeah, I played two, three weeks. Got the hell up out of there. Good shot. Good rebound. Good angle for the rebound. Said you ain't getting no more shots. Right, get on down. <laughs> good, good angle for the rebound. Yo, ball sport. Good sport. Get back. JT, go then. All right. Good teamwork. If you hold hands up. Too early, you might wear the, for the first one, just hold LT so you don't jump on the initial pump fake. If y'all following what I'm saying. So, yeah, so you just hold LT and then the second one, you can go ahead and start putting the hands up. Yeah, it's gonna make you jump on the first one, but the second one, you're gonna be good. Wow, great steal, great steal. Good shot. Good way to come for the rebound. Good teamwork. He said, the ones be spooky. <laughs> uh, I don't know why both y'all went to the paint. Good, good teamwork. Good shot. Good steal. What the fuck? That's all. That's a tough shot. Boy, way to leave it open, big dog. I got blue shirt. I'm still here. I'm gonna give it to you, JG. I don't think he'll hit that. The rebound. Good teamwork. Good pass. Ah, damn, old man. I don't think you hitting that shit. <laughs> Good defense. I said, God damn. Good shot. That's green. Wow, you got that rebound. Adam, they gave me a different shot right there. Uh, uh, and we won for three, two for seven. Slip, JG. Good slip. Good D. Good teamwork. Nice. They said uh, the big man now because of their post scoring, they can get Hall of Fame. I guess they got that last year too, though. That's a stop. That's a stop. Oh, that shit said open. <coughs> Sport free throw line. JG rep. Good shot, JG. Sport. Look at that box out, man. Come on. Well, I'm the best point guard that box out on it. I ain't never seen a point guard box out better than me. I got white shirt. The defense. Too deep. Too deep. Too deep, too. That's deep. That's two points. Good shot. Good box out. Great box out. Good shot. Damn. Thank you for bailing me out. <laughs> it's it. It's it. I'm going under. I lost him. I got white shirt. I got white shirt. Okay. 
Yeah, he hit me. Good dunk. Way to stay, Jay. Good steal. I got a blue sweater. Good D. That's a stop. That's a stop. That's deep, though. I don't believe in those. But bigs, I know they get, shoot that shit, but they're passing. Good teamwork. Great box out. Great pass back. Great teamwork. I like this 2K. I rated it an 8. Good still. That's out of bounds. Yeah, I like this 2K. I don't like the defense and the movement of dribbling. But oh, I still like it though. It's the pass. <laughs> That's tough. Said it's the best 2K since 16, 17. Nah, 2K 22 was nice. 2K 22 was good. I, I didn't even swallow through it to you. <laughs> That's green. Nah, I was scared. Good shot. The pass. Yeah, uh, 2K22 was good. 2K23, I like. Um, yeah. So, I mean, now this versus 2K22, I'm going to take 2K22 at the moment. Well, the movement, man. I'm telling you, movement is important when it comes to basketball games. This game don't let you control yourself that much. Without, oh, you didn't quick stop. That's why you didn't do it. Like, it's a lot of SS movement, bro. And that's going to change a lot of stuff for people, man. Like, I think a lot of people don't really know basketball games. So, they don't know what to blame. Like, right now, people blaming shooting. It's not shooting. You haven't really seen your true shot because the game won't let you stop moving. So, you know, like I said, I ain't trying to say I'm smarter than the rest. But I think a lot of y'all, when y'all complain about 2K, you don't really know what you're complaining about. Like... When I say rim running, 2K tried to cancel our rim running by making us drive wide. That's broken. Nobody wants to. Who the fuck do that? And, and for shooting, shooting is not an issue. You haven't, you won't know shooting until 2K stop you from moving for no reason. So people are going to blame shooting, but it's not shooting. It can't be shooting when dudes out here going five for six, three for four, five for five every other game. Some of these dudes ain't missing, bro. They have mastered the, oh, I'm moving too much part. <clears throat> Green. Break, break, break. But that's just my opinion, though. You know, I think my opinion is very valid, you know. But I, I honestly don't think nothing is wrong with shooting. I think something is wrong with defense. The game is allowing people to shoot light press when they're heavily contested. The game is allowing people to make layups in the paint as if nobody is in the paint with them. I don't think, like for some things, I don't think going to be able to be passed. Like this dribbling, I think that's ingrained into whatever system they have. So I don't think we're going to see any different from dribbling. I think it's going to be like this the rest of the year. Like I said, if 2K do, do something to shooting, you're still going to be missing because it's not shooting. It's the movement. So watch this. I let 2K patch shooting. And I, I guarantee you, people still going to be saying I can't shoot. Imagine possessing a superpower so potent it could create life, fuel your dreams, and unlock the secrets of the universe. Now imagine flushing it down the toilet daily. Sounds dumb, right? Well, that's exactly what you're doing every time you masturbate. Take a deep breath. Feel that energy coursing through you? That's your life force, your power. 
and you're squandering it. For what? A fleeting moment of pleasure? Masturbation isn't just a harmless habit, it's actively killing your spirit. Uncomfortable? Good. Growth happens at the edge of discomfort. Grow up. Ask yourself, are you truly living up to your full potential? Are you as energized, focused, and spiritually connected as possible? If not, what you're about to hear might just revolutionize your life. This isn't about morality or religion. It's about tapping into ancient wisdom that modern science is only beginning to grasp. It's about reclaiming your power and unleashing your true potential. In Taoist philosophy, they speak of Jing, your body's most precious essence. Think of it as the oil in your car's engine. Every ejaculation depletes this essence, this life force energy. The ancient Taoists believed that 100 drops of blood were required to create one drop of semen. That's how valuable they considered this fluid. But ejaculating is natural. You're probably thinking, well, it's not natural, you're in a mental paradigm. You've been caught in a construct, conditioned to believe that it's natural to self-pleasure and to ejaculation. And even if it was natural, we all know the consequences of overindulgence. You can't ascend to your highest self while constantly indulging your lowest impulses. It's like trying to climb a mountain while digging a hole beneath your feet. Let me get specific about what you're losing with each ejaculation. Semen is a complex fluid containing over 200 separate proteins, as well as vitamins B12, C and E, zinc, calcium, citric acid, fructose, and other nutrients. You're literally expelling life-giving substances from your body that are meant to be used to create a human baby. This is not rhetoric, this is a fact. But it's not just about the physical components, it's about the energy, the potential, the very essence of creation that you're carelessly tossing away. Every time you masturbate, you're choosing momentary pleasure over long-term power and vitality. Think about the most successful, charismatic people you know. Have you ever noticed an aura of magnetism around them? He's got aura. That's the power of retained sexual energy. When you stop wasting this energy, you start radiating a charisma that attracts success, opportunities, and deep connections. Comment below if you know you've been depleting these vitamins and nutrients. For the skeptics, I'll explain the science. 1. Frequent masturbation desensitizes dopamine receptors, numbing you to life's joys. This isn't just about sex, it affects your ability to feel pleasure and motivation in all areas of life. You're essentially giving yourself a form of anhedonia, the inability to feel pleasure. 2. Ejaculation lowers testosterone, crucial for energy, motivation, and cognitive function. Studies have shown that abstaining from ejaculation for seven days can increase serum testosterone levels by 145.7%. Imagine what that could do for your energy levels, your mental clarity, and your drive to achieve your goals. Three, porn-induced erectile dysfunction is a growing concern, rewiring brains to respond to pixels instead of people. This isn't just affecting your sex life, it's changing the way your brain processes reward and pleasure, potentially impacting your ability to form deep, meaningful relationships. 4. Research has shown that semen retention can increase androgen receptors in the brain. This means your body becomes more responsive to the testosterone you have, amplifying its positive effects. 5. Abstaining from ejaculation has been linked to increased spinal cord reflex excitability. In simpler terms, this means improved physical performance and faster reflexes. Now, let me tell you about ejaculation, the practice of experiencing orgasm without ejaculation. Yes, orgasm is separate from ejaculation. This isn't just some new age concept. It's rooted in ancient Taoist sexual practices and is gaining recognition in modern sexology. Research and our own experience tells us that ejaculation will lead to increased energy levels by retaining the nutrients and life force in semen. You're keeping that energy in your body. Improved prostate health. Contrary to popular belief, regular ejaculation isn't necessary for prostate health. Ejaculation allows for the benefits of orgasm without the loss of vital fluids. Remember, those fluids are needed to create life 
imagine all the vital life essence within what you habitually eject. Enhanced sexual stamina. As you master control over your ejaculatory reflex, you naturally last longer during sexual activities. More intense orgasms. Many practitioners report whole-body orgasms that far surpass the brief pleasure of ejaculatory orgasms. Spiritual Awakening As you learn to circulate sexual energy through your body, you may experience heightened states of consciousness and spiritual insights. Imagine channeling all that conserved energy into your goals, dreams, and spiritual growth. Don't forget what you're here to do. But it's not just about the benefits of retention, it's about what you're avoiding. Every time you ejaculate, you're depleting your body of zinc, selenium, and other crucial nutrients. You're flooding your system with prolactin, which suppresses dopamine. You're triggering a refractory period where your body and mind are less capable and less energized. Pause for a moment and think about what I just said. And if you want to learn how to injaculate, then give us a like and subscribe. We'll help you learn while you'll help us grow. Now let's talk about the spiritual essence behind this. In tantric traditions, sexual energy is the key to higher consciousness, the fuel for kundalini awakening. But instead of raising this energy to enlighten your mind, you're spilling it out, dimming your light. The Vigyan Bhairav Tantra, an ancient text of 112 meditation techniques, includes several practices focused on using sexual energy for spiritual awakening. One such technique instructs, at the start of sexual union, keep attentive on the fire in the beginning, and so continuing, avoid the embers in the end. This is about maintaining awareness and circulating energy rather than losing it through ejaculation. Do you often feel lost, struggling to find purpose or deep connections? Like I've been saying, you're constantly depleting the very energy needed for spiritual growth. Your sexual energy isn't just about reproduction or pleasure, it's the most potent creative force you possess. It's the energy that can fuel your deepest inspirations, your most enlightening insights, and your highest achievements. It helps you unfold into the real you. This isn't about repression. It's about mastery. Let me say that again. It's not about repression. It's about mastery. Think. Your sexual energy is like an oil well. Will you let it gush out wastefully or refine it to power your entire life? Here's a roadmap for you. You're welcome to walk this path alongside us. 1. Question every urge. Is this the best use of my creative energy? When you feel the impulse to masturbate, pause. Take a deep breath. Ask yourself what you could create or achieve if you channeled this energy differently. 2. See your sexual energy as sacred. Your body is a temple. Treat it as such. Start viewing your sexuality not as a source of quick pleasure, but as a wellspring of vitality and creative power. 3. Transmute the energy. Channel it into exercise, art, or passion projects. When sexual energy arises, try redirecting it. Do some push-ups, stretches, deep breath work, handstands. Work on that business plan. You'll be amazed at how this energy can fuel your vision. Think. Feel. 4. Meditate. Learn to circulate this energy throughout your body. Try this. Sit comfortably, close your eyes, and visualize your sexual energy as a warm, golden light in your pelvic area. As you inhale, see this light rising up your spine. As you exhale, let it flow down the front of your body. Repeat this circulation with each breath. Feel your own energy. 5. Explore tantric practices and ejaculation with a partner. Please let it be with someone who you share spiritual connections with, someone who you love. Transform your connections. Tantric sex isn't just about pleasure. It's about using sexual connection as a pathway to spiritual awakening. Start by practicing extended foreplay, synchronized breathing with your partner, and maintaining eye contact during intimacy. Do even more research into what I mean when I say ejaculation. I have other videos on this topic. Go deep, literally. 6. Practice testicular breathing. 
This Taoist technique involves using breath and visualization to draw energy from your testicles up into your body. It's a powerful way to cultivate and circulate sexual energy. Again, research this specific thing and don't forget the name, testicular breathing. 7. Engage in regular physical exercise. This helps to circulate the conserved sexual energy throughout your body, preventing stagnation and promoting overall vitality. Physical exercise can be things like hatha yoga and qigong as well. You don't have to work yourself into a dirty sweat all the time. Breathe. I read a comment from you guys that said, doesn't ejaculation prevent prostate cancer? Be honest, is that really why you're masturbating? And actually, recent studies have shown that the link between ejaculation frequency and prostate cancer risk is far from conclusive. In our community and through the wisdom we've studied, it doesn't link whatsoever. Completely forget the notion. Your overall lifestyle, diet, and genetics play a much more significant role. Relax. Here's a provocative thought. Perhaps the powers that be want you to keep masturbating. A population drained of vital energy, numbed by dopamine hits, is easier to control. Let this bubble in your brain for a minute. In a world that constantly bombards you with sexual imagery and promotes instant gratification, choosing to retain and cultivate your sexual energy is a radical act of self-empowerment. Let me say that again. In a world saturated with sexual imagery and the lure of instant gratification, choosing to retain and cultivate your sexual energy becomes an act of self-empowerment. Think, I'm not here to dictate your actions. I'm here to make you question everything to make you think deeply about how your choices shape your reality. Every time you choose to masturbate, you're making a decision about who you want to be and what you want to achieve in life. Remember that. Here's your challenge, 30 days without masturbation. Retain your energy and transmute it into something higher. Journal your experiences, mood, energy levels, mental clarity, spiritual insights. Pay attention to how your interactions with others change how your productivity increases, and how your dreams become more vivid. You will struggle. You will get pushed back. And that's okay. The awareness itself is transformative. Each time you resist the urge, you're building willpower. You're reclaiming your power. And you're choosing your higher self over momentary pleasure. Breathe. But if you make it through those 30 days, you'll never see yourself the same way again you'll tap into a wellspring of power you never knew existed. You will experience increased confidence and charisma, enhanced mental clarity and focus, more vivid dreams and intuitive insights, greater physical vitality and faster recovery from exercise, a magnetic attraction that draws people and opportunities to you, deeper, more fulfilling connections with partners, a sense of purpose and spiritual connection, Remember, this isn't about counting days. The 30 days are just a benchmark. Nothing to brag about in the comments section. It's really about a lifestyle change, a paradigm shift leading to a permanent perceptive upgrade. Semen retention doesn't mean no sex. It means mastering your sexual energy. Research ejaculation techniques. Learn more about Taoist and Tantric practices. This is a journey of self-discovery and empowerment. You are not your body. You're not your urges. You are a spiritual being with infinite potential. It's time to stop leaking your power and start embodying it. It's time to reclaim the energy that's rightfully yours and use it to fuel your evolution. Are you ready to reclaim your energy? To stop killing your spirit and start fueling your ascension? To step into your full power as a man? The choice is yours. But remember, every decision either feeds your spirit or starves it. Every time you choose to retain your semen, you're choosing empowerment over weakness, creation over waste, ascension over stagnation. The power is in your hands, literally. What are you going to do with it? Good shit, JG. Good, good defense, good teamwork. You want this sport? <coughs> ah! Nobody want it. Good D, good steal, I get T. Oh damn. Uh -huh. Okay. To be fair, I still be hooping. 
but I always wonder why one game. Like I'm not saying cat six, cat six you can't use it. I'm just trolling on that. So it's not gonna stop your game from being legit. And of course you're gonna skip from game time to time. Games like Fortnite, I have no problem. Yeah, yeah. You, I mean you're gonna always skip from time to time. But I'm just saying though. There's nothing wrong with going up to the Cat 8 if you know it's more powerful. And it's, I think it's, what, it's like $15? Well, not even that, depending on the length. Good game, GG. We actually getting games back to back. Let's go.